your girl is done classes are finished i don't have to do class for the rest of my life for the rest of my life life is good <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea here, your favorite graduate student. <laughs> I'm a clinical psychology doctoral candidate in the third year of my program. Well, technically, I'm done with the third year of my program. And that's essentially what I wanted to talk with you guys about today. So as you guys know, your girl was very stressed <laughs> over the last few weeks. Um, experiencing some low motivation, uh, not wanting to do things, procrastinating but i am happy that the third year is pretty much done i've wrapped up all of my classes submitted all of my assignments my final exam which was due yesterday i finished um, wrapping up and terminating with clients at one of the sites that i'm at and things are better than they were the last time you saw me uh yeah things things are better since then um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys, what my experience was like this semester. Um, it started off very interesting in the fall as far as like the type of supervision that I was receiving at one of my sites. It was a stressful experience that I had and without going into details, I learned what kind of supervisor I did not want to be. Um, so even though it was kind of like a negative experience, I still was able to find uh, something meaningful or learn something from the experience as far as like how to interact with a supervisor um, that you may not be getting along well with. Um, and also learning like, okay, I don't wanna do this as a supervisor. I don't wanna do that and you know, learning like how I want to be as a supervisor to another practicum student, which is something that I'm gonna have to do in my internship this fall. So that's pretty much uh, the gist of how my practicum experience went for the first half of the school year. Um, and so I got a new supervisor, some new supervisors this semester, which was so much better. I really appreciated them. They allowed me to work um, autonomously so they didn't try to make me question my own abilities they're very supportive of like the approach that i was taking to like therapy and my clients and so that really let me feel more free to have control over the type of treatment that i was getting or giving and it was a very rewarding experience i enjoyed working with all of my clients and terminating this time around wasn't too bad for me i think that was because i was burnt out when the spring semester started like i was just already dreading starting back up school and working on a dissertation i was procrastinating with that we know how that's we know how that's been going um so at the beginning of the semester i was already burnt out like I was not motivated to start classes anyways, so it took me a while to get acclimated to getting back into doing classes and homework assignments that, you know, were a lot. The homework assignments were a lot this semester, but I'm so happy that they're finally done. I don't have to do classes anymore. I don't have to do homework assignments anymore. I don't have to do exams anymore. The only thing that I have to do uh, as far as the school goes is enroll in courses that like keep me in like continuous enrollment. So this summer I had to enroll in a course called Dissertation Continuance um, because one, I didn't finish my dissertation yet, which is irking me that I did not finish it before the semester and like I wanted to but that's no point because you're gonna finish it either way I'm gonna finish it but I had to enroll in that course because I did not finish the dissertation yet and also you have to be like enrolled continuously in the program so that like your student loans don't get activated or something like that so that's pretty much what I did but it's not like a class where you have to like go to it or do anything so that's just gonna carry me over for the summer and then in the fall, spring, and summer of the next school year, I'll just enroll in a course that's like for internship where you get um, essentially credit for being on your internship and it's like a reduced fee. So just like the summer class that I enrolled in this year, it's a reduced fee like under 
it was under 800 dollars which is <laughs> perfect for me and uh i'm happy about that and also there's this like cares act for covid that they were giving to students so i got that in the mail you know you girls have about that free money so i'm gonna be using that for this course right i'm gonna be using that for this course so i'm very grateful for that don't have to worry about where i'm gonna scrape up my little coins for this dissertation continuous class that i have enrolled in but other than that your girl is done classes are finished i don't have to do class for the rest of my life for the rest of my life life is good so that's pretty much it for school per se um as far as practicum goes your girl had two practicums so i wrapped up at one of them last week <sighs> there's still one lingering though i was supposed to finish with them last week as you guys know but i couldn't because you know your girl didn't finish those reports so since then i have learned that one of my supervisors told me to administer a, an assessment that we did not have the treatment like we didn't have the manual for so i can't score it until i have the manual so we have to order the manual for that but either way your girl wasn't gonna finish the report last week no way it was a stretch we knew that it was gonna be a stretch because whatever you know your girl has high hopes high expectations so that's not done i'll be working on that this week um that's all i can say i'll be working on those reports and that's pretty much the last thing that i have to do so i can wrap up with my second practicum but really that makes me feel like the third year ain't really done yet because the reports aren't done and so I'm not like scot-free clean from them even though I don't have to get up and go there every morning it's just I feel like it's lingering like it's like you ain't done yet because you still gotta finish this and so that's pretty much like I feel like yay I'm done and then it's kind of like I'm mm you ain't all the way done because like you still gotta do these reports so what's left for the reports is that i have to finish interpreting the results and then write about them in the report get that approved by my supervisor and then set up feedback sessions with the client so i could tell them like what the results found and i'm just gonna be quite honest <laughs> with the way that some of the results are looking for some of them, I don't know how I'm gonna have a conversation with them, and I may, I may ask for my supervisor to be present during the feedback session. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I have to do left for reports. And as far as the dissertation goes, your girl has not, your girl has not been working on dissertation yet because you know I had to do a presentation at the end of the semester, and I also had to do a final and battling lack of motivation to do anything at all so i have not been working on the dissertation yet but it's like the only thing left that i have to really complete so once these reports are done then my dissertation is literally the only thing that i have to do i'm not trying to be working on this during the summer so my goal is to try to finish up before this month ends i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that but that is my goal to try to finish my dissertation before this month ends and it's the 11th so I don't really have that much time I'm still working on the second draft so I mean it's almost done I just gotta finish the dissert no, no, I gotta finish the discussion chapter and add in tables you would think it would take that long and it shouldn't take that long but you know the procrastination is getting me so that's pretty much it that's all I have to worry about uh, as far as my internship goes, I was able to meet the other interns that I will be interning with at the University of Memphis, so I'm super excited about that and getting to know those other ladies. And that's pretty much it. Your girl is excited. You know, you might be catching flights this summer. I'm about to be living my best life because last year I can't go anywhere. So this year I'm going everywhere. So there will be some travel vlogs coming up for y'all okay and the chelsea cooks videos will be coming because now your girl has more free time on her hands i have more free time on my hands i can upload those cooking videos but that's pretty much it right now i feel good right now i am at peace i'm not as probably i was probably depressed you know i ain't even gonna hold you i was probably depressed like i ain't i ain't there i ain't there right now so i'm feeling good i'm feeling great so i'm very hopeful 
and I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you are in uh, a doctoral program like me, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Let me know what school you go to down in the description. No, not in the description. Down in the comments below. Also, if you're still in college, let me know what college you're going to, what you're getting your degree in, and uh, what you want to do for your career. All that. Let's get our degrees together. Okay? It's no reason why we should be going through this alone. Let's do it together, okay? So subscribe to the channel and follow me on all my social medias. You know, your girl posts, your girl posts, okay? IG, just follow me on IG really because you know the other ones, I be posting but IG is where it's at for me, okay? So you'll know more of what I'm doing in real time on IG. So follow me on IG over there and it's in the description box down below. It's at LH Chelsea, you know, just follow me on there and you know you go dropping the fire pics when i be stepping out so that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in the next video bye